Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. I, on the other hand, um, are, am kind of uh, wondering what to do here. I have um, two of our giveaways that have not responded um, to the giveaway. So um, I have the... Uh, I have the first and the third winners that I haven't heard a word from. Uh, the second one did get in touch with me. So, um, you know, I'm kind of at a loss on what to do. I um, did this on, I did the drawing on Saturday, October 7th. I have been waiting since then for the winners to get in touch with me. Haven't so far. I'm thinking what I need to do is um, by Saturday, this coming Saturday, if I haven't heard anything, I'm thinking of uh, redrawing for the first and third gifts, uh, giveaways, and um, just pick a couple of new winners. I don't really know what else to do. Oh, and by the way, I got my new mat. Love it, love it. So, um, yeah, if I don't hear anything by Saturday from Rosalind or Susan, um, I think I'll just, uh, you know, redraw for the first and third gifts. Uh, giveaways. So that is where I stand with that. I really, I hate to do it, but I don't know what else to do. So, um, and you know, somebody, um, who wants these or, you know, I just, I, like I said, I don't know what to do. So it will be for the journal and for the, um, uh, slot hole punch. Uh, Saturday, if I don't hear anything by then. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's get going here. So, uh, for today, um, I have been making these uh, cute little Christmas pouch pa uh, notepad holders. And I thought I would show you how I made these or this, I should say, and um, make one along with you guys. I think they are so cute, and they would, let's see if I got a piece of paper here, show you what they would look like in a journal. So almost a whole page cover, like we were um, doing, uh, previously, but um, not quite. So I would put this down here like this. And um, I don't think I would do anything else but to just glue the little pouch down and then have the little um, tablet for extra writing space go in the pouch. Now you don't need to put a pouch in there. You could just make the pockets and this would make a good mass make um, for maybe the little pouch pockets because you could put other things in there like some tags or, you know, you could fill it up with basically um, anything that you would like after you make the little pouches. But I liked the uh, little matching tablet notepad. So, that is what I'm going to show you how to do today, okay? So, what we need is, I am using paper out of my um, Country Christmas, which I think I got from Hobby Lobby. So, I'm just choosing papers out of here. And, um, and then I'm just using like copy dyed paper, anything that you want to use to make the little tablets. I've got some copy dyed paper here 
And I thought about, I don't know if I'll use these, but I get loads and loads of these little tablets from um, the local thrift store. I mean, they just put them in bags. Um, and, uh, you know, you just buy bags of them for like a dollar or so. So I don't know if I will use these. I don't know if they'll cut down good enough or whatever, but if I can, I will use these. But I have got so many of these that I may put some in my uh, shop just to <laughs> get rid of some of them. If anybody is interested in um, getting a handful, excuse me, I just want a cup of my, I mean a cup, I want a sip. Of my coffee. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started here. So, first, all you need to do is pick out a beautiful page. Well, that's pretty. <laughs> um, we can use that. A beautiful page from this, from a uh, bit of scrapbook paper. Um, you can use. Uh, double-sided this i only have here is the um, single-sided but you can use both double-sided would even be a little probably better so pick a page and then we are going to get our paper trimmer out and we are going to cut this this is um 11 by this is eight and a half by 11 okay if you use 12 by 12 doesn't matter double-sided single-sided doesn't matter okay anyway we are going to cut this down can you tell i've had coffee <laughs> so we're going to cut this down to eight inches save this and we want this down to eight inches so basically we're cutting our paper down to eight by eight. Okay. And, um, what was it? Oh, save, you know, save these or the piece that you cut off. What was I going to, I was thinking of something else, but anyway, so we have an eight by eight. Okay. So we are going to, Put this down in diamond shape and we are going to fold corner to corner like so okay and then we are going to take one of our tips I've got uh, the front one here and we are going to fold this front one down probably half an inch, quarter of an inch down. I don't know my, you know, my measurements like that. So I'm just guessing. So just fold it down. So you have um, some space at the bottom there. Okay. Then we're going to turn it back around and we are going to take our bottom here and just line it up with the bottom of the triangle and fold that right in like that okay and then we're going to take the other side and do the same thing just line it right up with the bottom of the triangle okay now, at this point, you can glue these down, straight down, or if you want, you can just tuck the one tip into the side of the other one, and um, it will stay basically just like that. So if you want it to be permanent, glue it. If you don't mind it, uh, just, you know, being able to come apart, 
like so, then um, just tuck the tip into the other side, okay? Now, at this point, I do like to round the corners, the tips, I should say. I'm using the half inch, and I am going to round this one and round this one like so and get rid of some of that whiteness i think this time i don't know i thought about uh, maybe doing some um doing some i was gonna stamp but i don't think i will i think i will just put some pretty stencil on there maybe this the last time all i did was um all i did was uh distress it i'm gonna try stenciling this time and see how it looks uh, i think i will try Maybe some red. Some fired brick and just see, see what it does here. Just try a little something new. Get my... Uh, <clears throat> little makeup stick here is what I normally use nowadays to do a little distressing. And let's see what it comes out. Ooh, that's dark. Okay, not bad. Do I wanna do it down here? Maybe continue on and be a little bit lighter, but I want something underneath. was I thinking of? Mm. I'll just use this. This is hanging around. So put that underneath and maybe just go a little lighter down here. Okay. A little bit right there. There we go, that's what I can do. I just didn't like that little white line that was left. And it's still gonna be there, so I guess there's nothing we can really do about that. There we go. Okay, not, not too bad. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Okay, so we have this. So I think what I want to do now is try to find something to decorate with. The last time I did some little... um. Let's see, I did a little Merry Christmas here. Um, oh, I think I like the, um, the red and the green. Yeah, I like that better. Or we have some little bells. Oh, that's kind of cute too. Let's go with the bells this time. I think that's... Or we could do this and let's try this. I've got that there and then we have these little, I have these little um, poinsettias that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. Let's see, just see what it looks like. 
just give it a try. So we have this down first, and then this. Oh, I like that. I think I like that. Let's distress the, excuse my reach, distress around here. Now these would make excellent little mass makes for um, Happy Mail or um, Patreon Mail. These are really cute. Oops, excuse me again. I need to get around here. Okay, let's get this glued down with some art glitter glue. Oh my, oh, there. My little um, topper pen was really stuck in there. So put that right in the middle, like so, and then our little, I just love these little poinsettias I got from Hobby Lobby. They are so cute. Put our little poinsettia right in the middle, like that. And maybe I could even put that um, that Merry Christmas right up here. But I do think I like the other one now. I think I like this one. So, yeah, I'm going to put that right there. Distress it first. Okay. Boy, I feel like I might be coming down with something. I hope that's not the, um, I hope that's not, uh, gonna happen. Put my, okay, what have we got? This is just a little bag in here. I was thinking of a little something behind that, but I don't know if I have anything handy. Something to, I'm looking in my garbage. I did a lot of um, cleaning yesterday from um, getting my mat. So I had to uh, do a lot of the cleaning up before I could put my mat down because my room was an absolute mess. So I have these little, <laughs> I have these little things in my garbage can, handy. Don't know if that would work. Maybe something a little bigger. Oh, don't really want, well, I'm not seeing anything. <clears throat> so I have my little tub of stuff here. That maybe I can find something that's too thick. That might work. Just a piece. Where's my scissors? Right in front of me. Okay. Just a little something down behind it. Cut this down. I don't want it straight. I want some little 
um, a little bit of non-straightness. Is that a word? Non-straightness? Now, let's see. Yeah, that looks a little better. Gives it a little, um, a little bit of a background look instead of, and it, uh, you know, tones down that, that redness. Okay, let's put that down with our glue stick. Right along here. Stick that down so it stays in place. Oh, well, hopefully. Maybe my little glue stick's not going to hold that kind of material. I don't know what kind of material that is. But let's use some fabric tack on here. Whew, that's got a real uh, bang of a smell this morning. Okay, let's put this right down like so. There we go. Little nip right there. I think I want these down on the bottom here because when you um, bring your little notepad in and out, I don't want that uh, flipping up and down. So I'm just going to tack that down. Here we go. So there's our little pouch pocket. And now we need to make our little tablet to go in our little pocket. Like I said before, you can have um, <clears throat> you can have tags or little embellishments. What am I after? My paper. This would be okay as some of the paper, and this would look fun. Ooh, I like this. I like my little cardinal. I'll try to use some of that, and then later I can make one, probably offline, make one with a snowman so um, I can put in my snowman journal. All right, let's get some paper here. I want this to be about Let's see. This ends up being about 4 and 3 quarters. So probably we'll try maybe 4 and a quarter wide. So, well, let's just fold it right in half and see what we get. That's just about right, going right in half. So, I'll do two of these. And maybe put the um, maybe put the cardinal in the front, but you don't want it to be too bulky. So probably I don't know four four to maybe four pages. Let's see how we do. 
and I want it to be about, what did I make this one? I like the, the length of this one, about five and a half tall. So, uh, five and a half tall. And then this one here is just about right, but we need it to be, oh, there's different, there's different um, pictures in here. That's cute. So I want this one to be five and a half. And we will try to use that right on the front. Got that little piece, which I will save. And I think I will just tear, tear these right down the middle. Like so. And have them um, opposite. So this I want in the front and this is where our little uh, cutoff comes in. And oh, that's cute. So I probably want that about because I don't want to cover up my little birdhouse. Probably maybe about an inch and a half. So I'm going to cut this down, try to get all this mess out of my way. I have a lot more space on my, on my desk, but I always um, have so much stuff when I'm working that, um, I still run out of space when I'm working. So let's fold this in half. Am I on cam? I guess I'm off camera a little bit. <laughs> I got so much space. I'm using um, all this space down below where the camera is. Okay. And then I want to fit this right over. the top here. Oh, that is adorable. See if I can get it straightened out here. Well, let's make sure it fits. It might, oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, let me put this in the middle. And then try to get this on straight as we can. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> it just wants to move on me. So I'm getting my tiny attacher. Tim Holtz tiny attacher. And let's see if we can get this down this time. Okay, I got it right here. I'm going to staple first and then I'll trim it down. So a little staple and staple. There we go. That ought to hold it. Now I can trim it down. I always save these because we can always use them. this just a little bit on this end. There, that is cute. 
And then our little tablet fits right in here, like so. And there you have your little notebook pouch holder. Pouch notebook holder. <laughs> That is cute. I love how that turned out. Oh, I forgot one thing. We need to take our little slot punch and or hole punch, whatever you have. And I don't want to hit that staple. I shouldn't have put that staple probably where I put it. Missed it. Okay. So put our little slot punch in there and then get some piece of twine, any kind of decorative twine. And what did I do? I think I just put it in like like normal and then tied it into tied it into a bow yeah oops and then Cut my little strings down a little bit. Now they need to be cut just a little bit more. There, that looks better with the little, um, the little bow on it. And there you have it. There is our little notepad pouch. I just love these. They're adorable. I'm trying to get rid of some of this stuff. So, um, like I said, it's up to you. I mean, you could even glue this right down here and that would stay right down and, um, you know, it would make a little tuck on the side, but um, I have been leaving mine uh, up without any without any problems, but that is totally up to you. You might want to just stick that down right there. And you also might want to, like I said, glue this down um, right underneath there so it would be more um, stable for you. This one came out a little it did. That one came out a little wider. So be aware, they might come out different sizes um, depending on how you fold them. Um, other than that, um, I think they are adorable. So that is what I had for you today. Um, like I said um, in the beginning of the video, I may do another drawing Saturday and we may have two new winners. So, um, you know, be looking for that. And this is what I um, hope I don't, I really don't want to do it. I'm hoping the girls will get in touch with me before then. But um, all we can do is hope. So uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. I have to go to my doctor's this afternoon. So that is why I'm sort of like, you know, get this done and get something for you all uh, taped first and then get ready to go again. Everything from where uh, we moved to, everything is like an hour away, an hour here and an hour there. So, um, you know, it takes a big part of your day away when you have to travel an hour there and an hour back and then you see your, you know, you do your appointment so it seems like I'm always in a rush, rush, rush. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed weekend that's coming up. And um, I hope to see you again real soon. And um, 
good luck if I draw again. Good luck, good luck to you all, and I will let you know Saturday who the new winners is if I have to choose new winners. So God bless you all, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye, everybody.